Good morning, oil traders. Uh, it is Tuesday at uh, just after 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Um, so we've got about an hour before North American trading begins. And it looks like I may get a reprieve. <laughs> so as, uh, as I said yesterday, um, I do remain bearish. Uh, so I think we're going down. Uh, if I'm wrong, if I continue to be wrong, I should say, then uh, I'll certainly have missed out on a bunch of opportunities in the past uh, two or three days. Um, so hopefully you guys have benefited from, from these big swings. So if you look at the chart here, um, so since our big descent to uh, below 45, we've basically volleyed up and down between 44 and 45, um, or close to it at least. Um, kind of mid 40s, mid 44s, I should say. Uh, so the question is, you know, do we finally break down below this 4380, 4365 um, level um, to closer to 43, or do we bounce? Um, my instinct is that we're going down. Um, so I've been holding on to both uh, my long and short positions. I'm biased towards the downside. Um, basically, I'm hedged with a 10% bias to uh, the bears. So uh, basically, my portfolio is appreciating um, the farther we drop, but not by much. Um, that being said, if we do uh, fall, then I'll be selling at least one short position, if not two. It sort of depends on how far we fall. Uh, the closer we get to 43, I'll, I'm probably going to be looking at selling both the short positions. Not because I don't believe that we'll go to 42, but because I believe that we'll probably have quite a bit of volatility um, in both directions, uh, which would give me an opportunity to repurchase any shorts on a substantial bounce. Um, at the same time, I also plan on purchasing uh, a long position or adding to my long positions. And again, it sort of depends on how far we fall um, in terms of how how much I add. But uh, you know, basically, 4380 and below for me is attractive to add to my long positions. Looking at a you know relatively longer term horizon, weeks and months, not hours and days. Um, Basically, I think that you know, for either 45 or 44 might prove to be the middle of our new range that we're going to bounce around in, and uh, so anything below 44 is, I think, in my opinion, rather safe if your time horizon is long enough. So as I'm speaking, uh, we've just made it back below 40, uh, 44, um, and. I mean, we'll see. Uh, it's proving to have a lot of resistance. It's hanging on by its fingernails, as my buddy likes to say, um, at this level. It's got a lot of resistance here. Um, and I think it's going to have a lot of resistance again, getting below, um, what is this, 4370 um, here, 43, just below 4370. So this whole range, kind of in the upper 43s, is really, really um, sticky. Uh, so it might hang around here um, pre-open. So we've got an hour, less than an hour left. But my feeling is that you know Europe is looking at this and thinking, well, you know, North America is about to open. They're, it, I would expect them to feel that North America is basically going to get on for the ride down. In which case, Europe might want to start selling ahead of that play. Uh, which of course would accelerate the downward trend. So if we do drop um, to 43.60 and below, it might very well be that we see a very dramatic fall today. Um, so it, you know, as far as my play, it depends on where we open. Um, if we open below 43.80, uh, I may wait. Uh, you know, ex exercise a little bit more patience, uh, at least with the purchase of the long. But uh, I think I would take my profit on the short and uh, and see if I can do a little bit better on the long purchase. So that's my plan. I'd love to hear uh, what you guys have uh, in mind for today. Uh, keep in mind that API news comes out 
for whatever it's worth at 4.30 p.m. Eastern today after uh, North American trading is closed. And uh, we've got EIA inventory news tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. So today is going to see a lot of you know, plays in anticipation of what is to come. Um, so yesterday's afternoon was pretty lackluster, uh, pretty stagnant. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case today. I think we're going to see a lot of movement. I don't know which direction. I'm, I'm hoping it's down. Um, but I expect that there's going to be a lot of positioning ahead of what's to come uh, as people try to basically situate themselves uh, in a way to take advantage of what we're going to find out tomorrow. So if you guys have an opinion, uh, hit me up on the comments down below on YouTube or on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my portfolio and trades and charts. And I'll check back with you guys at the end of trading today. Cheers. Good luck. Thank you.